1862, Lincoln is stalling. What brings you here, Mr. Douglas? I want to know why you're holding back on freeing the slaves. We didn't go into war to put down slavery, but to put back the flag. But if you release the slaves, they could join the army and they could help you win the war. But if I do free slaves, I might alienate the number of northerners that oppose emancipation. Every slave who escapes from the rebel states is a loss to the rebellion and to the loyal cause. But it... But if that happens, then we could lose the border states and leave Washington, D.C. open to attacks. I thought freedom meant no slavery. It does, but... But what? You have to fix this now! 1863, after emancipation. Why are you here, General Grant? I want to discuss the inequalities in the Army. I don't know of any inequalities in the Army. The blacks help us as much as the white soldiers. I think they deserve equal pay. I agree. The blacks have helped us a lot. They have led several raids. Black soldiers get executed if they are captured in the South. If white soldiers are captured, they are just prisoners. I will issue an act that will stop the killing of black prisoners. I believe that these blacks deserve rights because that's what freedom means, after all. It does, but it is hard to accomplish that when the North and South are fighting. Well, keep trying at it, and I'll keep trying to win the war. 1863, after retaliation order. What is the matter, Mr. Douglas and Mr. Calhoun? Are you mad, sir? I thought you wouldn't preserve the Union, not kill the South. This proclamation nonsense of yours is dumb. It doesn't make any sense to let blacks into the community. Calm down. Blacks are human, too. They are just like us. But they aren't. Blacks are meant to be slaves. Blacks aren't equal. None of this inequality nonsense. Blacks aren't better than whites. Whites are better than blacks. We are all equal. Your acts are breaking down the South. We can't live without slaves. Blacks can only be slaves. We cannot tolerate these injustices anymore. You are wrong. Freedom means equality. It is you who are wrong. Freedom is for whites only. 1865, after war. Why have you come to the White House, Mr. Davis? First, I want to tell you I did not want this war to happen. I didn't want it either. I also want to know why you've tried so hard to abolish slavery. Slavery is our mortal enemy. Just the thought of a man's rights being taken away from them because of their skin color gives me chills. Slavery is not evil. It is meant to be. It is threaded into our history. I have said this many times. A black person is still a person. Just because they aren't like you doesn't mean they are bad. But what will you do now? The war is ended and now the Southless have a system to run on. I will help them rebuild. I will try to do my best. But that is impossible without slavery. Freedom is for whites only. Freedom means no slavery. <sighs> 1865, after proposing of the 13th Amendment. Mr. Douglas, why have you come to my office again? I just wanted to say thank you for what you have done for this country. No, thank you, Mr. Douglas, for opening my eyes to the evils of slavery. I am very sorry for ever criticizing you, my great friend. I should have known that you were going to do this all along. I accept your apology. I do admit I was a little bit sluggish in the beginning. You managed to preserve the Union, and above all, you abolished slavery. But you pushed me to abolish slavery. You were the main part in my decision making. You I wanted to see that you helped me. Thank you. Thank you. Just remember, no matter what happens from now on, we will be on the same side. And you remember, if freedom means equality, it also means no slavery.